What's up guys, my name is Technoba here for Troubleshoot and today I've got a really interesting video for you if you're struggling with the dev error 6328 in Call of Duty Modern Warfare. Today we'll be running through a couple of fixes that may work for you with this issue and if you came to this video with a different error then hey these fixes might work for you as well. But of course, we'll begin by saying, make sure that you've restarted your PC, make sure your Windows is up to date, and if you're still having issues, then you can continue with this tutorial. So first of all, let's try and clear Blizzard's cache. Let's begin by holding Start and pressing R. Then we'll type percentage, program data, percentage, and we'll hit Enter. A new folder will open. All we need to do is simply look for Blizzard Entertainment, open it up, Battle.net, open it up, cache, and then we'll see this over here. So first of all, make sure your Blizzard is completely closed. I'll bring it across, go to Blizzard and click Exit. Then select everything in the cache folder and hit Delete, and then your cache will be cleared. Now we can go ahead and start a Battle.net once again. Now if you're still having the issues, we can continue to another few fixes. So first of all, let's try forcing the game into DirectX 11 mode. When you have the game selected in Blizzard, hit Options, followed by Game Settings, and make sure you're on the Game Settings tab over here. Then under Call of Duty MW, tick additional command line arguments, and in here I'll type in minus D3D11, and we'll hit done. Then go ahead and launch it up and see if your errors are fixed. Otherwise, if not, we'll continue to the next step. In the Blizzard launcher, head across to options, followed by show in Explorer. Then when you see this window over here, we'll open up Call of Duty Modern Warfare, and we'll scroll down until we find modernwarfarelauncher.exe. Right click on it, properties, go to compatibility, and then we'll check run this program as administrator and disable full screen optimizations. Hit apply and then okay. Then go ahead and try to start up the game once again and hopefully your issues are fixed. Otherwise, if they're not, when you're on the main menu, head across to the settings in the bottom left, go across to graphics and we'll look for this over here. We'll change it from full screen to full screen borderless and make sure to scroll down to sync every frame, vsync, and enable it. Then apply settings and see if your issues are fixed. Otherwise, if they're not, then there's a few more fixes that we can go ahead and try. Head across to this link in the description down below if you have an NVIDIA graphics card and simply go ahead and select your information and hit search and download and install the latest graphics drivers for your PC. Then the next fix on top of this, if that doesn't work for you, you can go ahead and try to download the SD Studio Driver instead of the Game Ready Driver over here, and this may fix your issues. The last and final fix that I've heard of that is probably more unlikely than not is to go ahead and open up your Task Manager. Then head across to the Services tab and have a look for Origin Client Service as well as Origin Web Helper Service. Make sure to right click and stop both of these. These both installed on your computer when you installed Origin from EA to play their games, and apparently this may have some sort of effect on Call of Duty Modern Warfare, though I highly doubt that to be true. That is of course another fix that I've gone into. Anyways, hopefully this video helped you. If it didn't, make sure to check the comments down below as you may find your fix over there. Otherwise, I wish you luck with Googling. My name's been Number here for Troubleshoot, and I'll see you all next time. Ciao.